Hello again everyone, Brett back, High Altitude Scale Modeling. Today we're going to look at bare metal foil and a couple of alternatives to bare metal foil. This is Reflectix Incorporated tape. This is used for um, foil tape used for heater ducts, taping heater ducts together. See it's pretty thin, it's self-adhesive. This is Nasha tape product. This is also a foil tape. This one is designed for plumbing work and is just slightly thicker. And of course, what we all use for our cars, the classic bare metal foil. Nothing wrong with this. Some people say it's too pricey. This, I think, costs $8.99 a sheet now or $7.99. But you get great results with this. It's really thin, the adhesive is really good. So, this is a brand new package. I didn't want to use a used one because these are both brand new rolls. So, slice this one open. Now, those of you who use bare metal fo foil already know the quality of it. So you get the bare metal foil in the sheet, and then you get a sheet of other things available from bare metal foil, I'm assuming, and then how to put on bare metal foil. Okay, put this right back there. So, find my ruler. Excuse me a second, I've just recently rearranged. So what we're going to do is foil some of this. I primered half of a 1967 Camaro body. I got a replacement because I broke this one. So I bought a replacement body. You can see that's broke. And those of you who've seen my site have seen my green Camaro, which is the one that I replaced this body with. So, I've also got a bland, brand new blade. Because you always want to use a new blade when you're doing bare metal foil. So, let's start with what we know. Bare metal foil. I did a how-to on this, and I'm sure this is white the heck out of the screen. On our live show a couple months ago on a Tuesday. So, how I do this is... I'm going to do this top part right here, and I take a measurement, and it's about... If I wasn't go all the way to there, it'd be two inches, but since I'm just going to there, we're going to say an inch and seven-eighths. needs to be wider than what it is, so you can lay it in there. Inch and seven-eighths is right about there. Slice this. With a very straight cut. I like to use my good Tamiya tweezers to pick this up, peel it off of there. Once I get this off here, I can move this sheet out of the way and it'll get rid of the white out. There we go. Then what I do is I take the piece, I line it up on here. Which, that wasn't a very good line-up job. Or I cut it too short. Yeah, I think I cut it too short. Then I take one of my good Tamiya Q-tips. These here that are really tight, because I don't want uh, the white stuff flaking off, the cotton swab parts. Burnish it down, tuck this under. Burnish it down some more. So you've got a nice good solid crease in there. Then I take my sharp blade, I don't put any pressure on it, I just sit it in the groove. And this is going to be a little harder to do because I'm not doing it the same angle I would normally do it. Run it clear across there. Now, when you're peeling this up, you got to be careful because normally you'd have your paint finished down in there. I 
place you can get easily under it and slowly peel it back on itself because you don't want to pull up what you've already put down. Okay, and what you got, bare metal foil, very nice, clean frame for your windshield. All right, now the Nashaw product. I'm just gonna cut a piece off here so I can set the roll aside. Okay, and it's sticky here where it was connected, so I'm going to get rid of that part too, so it's not sticking on everything that's in my way. See how that stuck right there? Alright, so this one, I'm going to do this part back here. So that'll be yeah, about one and three quarters. So, make it a little bigger than one and three quarters. Like I said, make it wider. Now this costs... I'm not sure if I got through. This costs $4.99 a roll. And a roll of this is... I'm not sure if it says on here, and I took the wrapper off, so... A roll of this is quite a bit. As you can see how thick the roll is. So there's a lot more here than there is in a sheet of bare metal foil. So cost-wise, this stuff costs less. So you see it's nice and shiny though. Peel it off the backing paper. Maybe. There we go. Nice and easy. Seems about the same level of adhesion, but it is a little thicker, so it may not burnish down as well, or cut as well, or as easily, but we'll find out. Now when I go like this, generally I cut under here, cut under here, and then tuck that part under. Then I go back to burnishing. See, we have another nice clean burnishing line. Right there. Same thing. New blade. I'm going to put it in the... And this does not cut as easily. You can feel the blade catching and snagging on there. And it didn't go through on one. Plus, bare metal foil is easy to go around corners. So let's see how this does. One cut. Definitely sticking a lot. Yeah, see, it wants to peel that up. Because I didn't get through all the way with the cut. So, like I said, this is the thicker of the two rolls. So, I've got to scribe through it a few times. Cut through it. And it's peeling off pretty it's definitely got a lot more adhesion than bare metal foil so I'm not sure how that would bring up the paint it didn't bring up the primer the primer's been on there for about three days so for cutting it's not as easy to cut because it's thicker it went around that corner okay See that? It is just as shiny and just as smooth. Just a little harder to cut. Alright. Set that aside. This one, the electrical version of aluminum tape, is thinner. I'm going to cut a chunk off of it too. Set it aside. It's thinner. And we're going to put it on the bottom here, which should, we should just need about the same length, maybe a little longer. Yeah, a little more than one and seven eighths. So we're going to make it longer to go around the corners and see how it does around corners. We're going to slice through. It cut easier than the other one did because it's thinner. 
my knife just wants to roll because my table's not level. Let me get this to cooperate a bit. So neither one of them are as easy to peel off, but again, that could be because we're peeling off a whole sheet with the bare metal foil, and here we're just peeling a strip off the back. It's definitely the stickiest of the two. Lay it down, okay. Burnish it in there. Do a cut right here, here, so we can fold this under. Now the reason I'm doing this is some people can't afford bare metal foil, especially the amount that you use and the amount that you waste. It burns in nicely too. I went around all the corners, laid down. It's also nice and shiny. I'm looking for an alternative to bare metal foil because if you buy bare metal foil, you have to buy it a lot more often than if you bought one of these rolls. Because you can see this roll is even thicker. And it cost the same $4.99 price as the other roll. So again, trying to let the knife do the work, but again you can feel it dragging. The cut is not as smooth as with bare metal foil. And it didn't go through the first time. So again, we're going to have to do a second cut. That time it did go through. And then peeling it up. Peel it back on itself. This actually comes off easier than the middle one, the, the roll did. So this may not be as harsh on your paintwork. And I actually like the look of that one better than the other one. You compare those two rolls. The thicker one isn't as smooth as the thinner one. And but they're both shiny. Oops, sorry. Both shiny, both looking good. But the uh, this one you could probably get it to lay down as smooth, but this one just on the first try. So of the two rolls, the thinner roll is definitely better. Is it better than bare metal foil? Well, that's a question you'll have to answer for yourself. And since I didn't do this on a painted body, I don't know. But here, let's take the ultimate challenge. There's my nice candy apple red 58 Impala. All shiny, has not been clear coated. But it's ready for a, it can handle a little foil across the top right there. So we're going to, this paint's been sitting here for six days. So it's definitely dry. I didn't rush off and paint it. I'm going to try this on here. And it's a super smooth finish. So this is the thin tape. I'm not going to try the thicker tape because the thin works better. So I wouldn't buy the thicker tape. I just saved you the money of having to choose. So. Lay down there just like we would bare metal foil. Burnish it down along the ridge. Tuck the back part under. Because window molding does wrap around. So, we want it burnished down because we want to follow that line. And we don't want to cut up the paintwork. And I'm not putting pressure on the tape on this side. I'm putting it on the side that 
the framing would go. Okay, so I'm going to start in the middle and try and follow the line. And that is one thing with bare metal foil, this would not be trying to skip across like it is. See how it skipped across? Let me take a hunk of bare metal foil. No, it's waiting at the camera again. All right, this is a piece of bare metal foil. Stick it on this part right here. Now this isn't going to be the final trim on this. This is just a test for you guys. Burnishing it down. And you take your knife. And you're going to score it right along the line, just like in front. You see how much smoother it goes through because the bare metal foil is so thin. So, you do that. You peel it away. It didn't hurt the paint. And it was easy to cut. Back on here, because it's so thick, It goes, but you can feel you're putting far more pressure on it. And it started to slip. And when your paint job is good like this, this is why I did it, because Camaro is just primer. It's not taking any of the paint away, but you can see it didn't come off as smooth because you had to dig into it so it's not as smooth going across so I'd say the win for that goes to bare metal foil and you see how it's stuck on there really good and this did kind of take the paint off Get the rest of this off and we'll see what happens. See, this doesn't want to come off as one easy thing like the bare metal foil did either. So, I'm just peeling it off, and you can see. You can see, is that silver there? That's a little bit of paint that was removed. Bare metal foil. See how nice that cut, how nice it looks. And if I go to peel it off, because I don't like it, as long as I don't scratch it with my tweezers. And if you're afraid you're going to scratch it with tweezers, you just get a toothpick because the toothpick's going to peel it up and not scratch your paint you see that no damage to the paint at all good and shiny and clean as ever so my comparison of the three for myself anyway is I would stick with bare metal foil all the way. It's thinner, it's easier to put on, it's easier to take off, it conforms very well, fills in all these seams like when I do this here, when I do all this, the rest of the stuff on this car, it's going to conform very well. I'm not going to put any more on this car of the other stuff because we've already seen it takes off paint. This would have its uses, just not on a finely detailed paint job. If you have big areas that you need to cover and the paint job isn't going to be affected and you have time to cut through it, 
then I would get this because this does save a lot of money. There's probably, uh, let's see. So three strips of that is a sheet of bare metal foil. So there's probably 20 sheets of bare metal foil on here for $5.99. Same with this one. However, as I've shown, this is the thinner one. This is the thicker one. This is the bare metal foil. And yeah, it's not a fair comparison because it's a great big sheet because you could do that with this. However, I think I'll stick with the bare metal foil. It cuts easier. This actually looks as good as this. This does not. It wrinkles up too much because it's too thick. For big jobs that I didn't worry about the paint job, I'd use this because it's cheaper. But for my detail work and my fine cars, I'm sticking with the bare metal foil. The classic. It's been around forever. And I'm going to have to endorse that. I thought it would be a more even comparison, but trying to cut through it on that nice paint job showed me which is truly the better one. So, bare metal foil all the way. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope this helps you decide. These two you can pick up at any local hardware store. This one in electrical, this one in plumbing. And bare metal foil you can either order online or pick up at your favorite hobby shop. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.